Welcome to Ship It or Sink It, where we combine two Nick characters and see if they ship or sink. First up, it's Piper and Miles. Let's compare their best qualities in round one. Personality perks. Miles knows how to stay cool and calm under pressure. Are those your new boom detecting boots? Yeah. Because they're glowing. Hmm? Yeah, look at that. And Piper has a good head on her shoulders. See this moss? What about it? Reticulated everbrown moss. Very safe to eat. My phone says that's North American mold moss and it's highly toxic. She is one smart cookie. Miles is one confident dude. No way this dude's cuter than me. And Piper is a huge go-getter. She really knows what she wants. He is wonderful. Isn't he? Yeah. Where'd you find him? Oh, I'll never tell. <laughs> Miles is great at getting others to see his point of view. Why have you been yeah. practicing? Our school is private and free. Stop asking questions. But My point. kids. And oddly enough, Piper is really good at yoga. This is the happy freezing baby position. Be sure to remember to exhale. Exhale through what? I don't care what you exhale through! Miles can be a truly profound thinker. What do you got? I plan on living with an open heart and a strong mind. And I will remain like that until the solution presents itself. <sighs> Who made you this way? The system. All right, some really great personality perks. But for this ship to sail, sink, or worse, I'll need to see some quirks. Whoa, Miles is not a big fan of butterflies. What happened to you? There was a butterfly on the roof, and then I got scared, and then I got tangled up in this rope. Can someone please help me? Why are you scared of butterflies? Because they're scary! And Piper can be a little stubborn at times. Well, it's too bad your dinner was ruined. Yeah, I guess you'll probably never want to cook again. No. You're doing this again tomorrow night. I'm cooking dinner, and I want everyone in this family at this table ready to eat at 7 p.m. sharp! Miles is not the most in touch with his powers. Whoa. Next up, the man's nest. Oh, come on! Not even out of the room! Hyper sarcasm is on a whole nother level. Chloe, fix your makeup. Uh, I'm not wearing makeup. Yeah, that's my point. Miles can be passive from time to time. Miles, you have to fight him. You can't just wait for every problem to solve itself. Stranger approaching. School mode activated. All right, test over. See, problem solved itself. Feels good to be right. <laughs> Piper is extremely temperamental. I would not want to mess with her. Why are you touching my phone? Uh, I was just cuz be. <laughs> Surprise. Something's not right. I agree. Ah! You really freaked me out. I'm supposed to be fighting crime. That's my path. But something's blocking my path. Why are you even here? Because something's not right. Ah! Something's not right. Told you. While Piper can be pretty spoiled. Sorry, it's the truth. Okay, I'm home and I don't want to talk to anybody. Oh, hey, Piper, how was your day? I just said I don't want to talk to anybody. Oh, okay. Oh, fine, I'll tell you why I'm upset. They seem pretty different, but we can't make any final decisions until round three. Face morph. Here's Miles and Piper side by side. And if we morph them together... Miper? OMG, what is that? Pimples, sorry, uh, pimples. Well, now it's time to see if they passed all three rounds. If so, we ship it. If not, we sink it. And while their ship names pair pretty well together, their personalities just don't mesh well. This ship has sunk. But let's give it another shot. This time it's Piper and Hudson. 
Round one, personality perks. Hudson is nothing but lovable. You got some watermelon on you. Oh no. Here. Oh. There you go, buddy. Thank you, you're nice. Aw, I think you're nice too. Piper is a prank master general. Why is there a cake here? <laughs> Got it! Hudson is a friend who will be by your side through thick and thin. Nico, you're not supposed to be here. Go back to Game Shakers. Okay. Hudson, will you walk me to the door? Sure, come on. Whoa. Piper is great with technology. I'm talking about Bigfoot. He's in the woods. Do you know how many likes I could get if I posted a selfie with Bigfoot? A lot. I can get bona fide on Twitflash. Hudson has moments of great wit and intellect. Now, I assume that a llama refers to girl llamas. And that a boy llama would be called a llama. Piper is the cactus queen. Hear me, hear me. As your cactus queen, I declare the Swell View Cactus Convention open. All right, that went pretty well. But it's on to round two, quirks. Hudson isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. My dad's a pelican. No, your dad's a dentist. Well, either way, this is a good pretzel. Piper is a little oblivious, right? I mean, her brother's a superhero, and she didn't even know it for the longest time. Well, I have a job here, okay, Piper? I'm, I'm, I'm working. Really? Because every time I come here to see you, you are never in this store. So what exactly do you really do around here? Well, I, I sometimes work in the back, in the garden. Sometimes Hudson needs an extra minute or 10 to process things. Hey guys, thanks for watching me. Okay, as you can see, I'm now playing Llama Llama Spit Spit, a very cool game, which I guess was made by some game company. Psst. It's made by us. Oh! Mystery solved! Piper probably shouldn't be on the road. Whoa! My dad had mouth surgery and then he swallowed my sister's house key. Wait, wait, wait. Your dad is on pain medications and he's driving a car? No, my sister's driving, okay? Wasn't she like 12? Yeah, they sent her a license by mistake. I don't understand. Dude, this has all been established. Hudson doesn't always catch on to when people are taking advantage of him. You don't want to hurt anybody? Yes, I do. I want to push Trip off this roof so I can have Hudson all to myself. But if you push Trip off the roof, you'll make Hudson very sad. And if you do something mean that makes Hudson sad, then he won't want to be your friend anymore. While Piper hates community service. Your business is using this stick to fill up that bag with trash here. As soon as it reaches the tippy top, you're done with your community service. Can I pay someone to do it for me? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect, but it's time for round three. Face morph. Okay, here's Piper and Hudson side by side. And if we morph them together... Hey, that one's not too hard on the eyes. Hudsper? Sonner, sonner. Oh, that sounded good. And while their quirks weirdly do work well together, that's about it. This ship has some. But let's try one more. This time it's Piper and Ark. Round one, personality perks. Ark can pull off any look. Those pants? Dude, that shirt? <laughs> You look amazing. No, you look amazing. No, you do. Boy models forever! And Piper has an inner fashionista herself. Hey, what up, dog? Happy V-Day! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What? You gotta be at least 13 to get in. Uh, I'm not Piper. 
My name is Judy Glickman. Ark can be a bit of a goofball. Aww. Look at you and your itty bitty adorable. Wow! And so is Piper. Do you even know how to play the piano? <laughs> Nobody actually knows how to play the piano. Fortunately, my phone just has one button. Ark is a natural born leader. It's pose we agreed on. <laughs> Why did we agree to this? Shh. Smile. Hey, Piper is too. This is insane. Piper, remember your bulb. Sque squeeze your bulb. Squeeze your bulb. No. <laughs> I got elected the president of the Man Fan Fair and Square. This could work. All right, quirks. Don't mess it up. Ark is no stranger to bending the rules. What are you up to? Getting us free lunch and dessert. Oh, Warlock! I found this disgusting hair in my food. We refuse to pay and demand free dessert. The customer service here is top notch. And neither is Piper. Last Saturday night while you guys were out, Piper and her friend Marla watched French Basement. <gasps> Piper. That movie's rated R. You know you're not allowed to watch R-rated movies. Come on, I didn't hear anything I hadn't heard before. Want to plot out an elaborate scheme? Ark's your boy. The pudding, that's it. You are not even pit pudding. Dragonflies love sweets. Use the gummy worm to draw it away and I'll lift the log. How do you know I saw the gummy worm? My snout is super sensitive. <laughs> that's a lovely shampoo, by the way. And Piper is your girl. So what I need now is a meet cute with Jackson Bartell. See, as I walk past Jackson's table, you come running at me like a crazy person and you yell, hey, give me that phone. And then you grab my phone right out of my hand. Oh, okay. And when you have it, I yell, ah, that jerk just stole my phone. At which point, Jackson will jump up and yell, hey, whoa, man. And then he will punch you, rescue my phone, and give it back to me. Ark is not afraid to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth, even if you don't want to hear it. Every year I bring good luck to our fishing season by searching for a worm in a tub of disgusting fish guts. Yeah. Oh, that's why it smells like an ocean's butt. <laughs> and Piper is not afraid to do the same. Okay, I know what's going on here. You guys just don't like the idea of me going out with Kale. Now, Piper. It's true. You think Kale's a loser just because his dad has no job and because his mom drives a dirty bus. <laughs> well, I don't feel comfortable having this conversation about Kale while he's in the room. So far, this is looking pretty seaworthy. But let's see how compatible they are in round three. Face morph. Here's Piper and Ark side by side. And if we morph them together, that's a face fit for a Jolly Roger. Wait a minute, that's not too bad. That one's all right. But let's check out the final scores and see if they passed. Uh, yeah, they totally did. This ship can definitely sail. If you want this ship to keep sailing, be sure to subscribe to Nickelodeon. We post new videos all week long, only on Nick.